Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Our today topic of discussion is gel. In this lecture, we will try to understand what are gel and their types. So let's begin the lecture. Before going uh, before going to particular definition of gel, we should have an idea of some basic terms. Simply, first question that should arise in our mind while we are discussing gel is that what are gel? So basically, gels are types of colloidal system. Or simply, we can say that these are colloidal system. So now the next question is, what are colloidal system? Basically, depending upon the size of particles, we can classify the system into three main types. One is solution, another is colloids, and another one is suspension. Now, if we look about uh, the size of their particles, solution have the particle size uh, around 1 nanometer and that of suspension is around 100 nanometer. And colloidal are those systems in which the size of the particle is between 1 nanometer and 100 nanometer. It means greater than 1 nanometer or less than 100 nanometer. Similarly, uh, we can say that as solution are constitute on two basic particles. One is solute and another is solvent. Now what are solutes? Solute are basically the particles that are present in small concentration. While solvent are the particles that are present in the large concentration. Similarly, we can say that colloidal system is consist on two phases. One is dispersion phase and another is dispersion medium now what is dispersion phase dispersion phase similarly like solute it is the phase that is present in small concentration and dispersion medium similarly like solvent dispersion medium is the phase that is present in large concentration it's mean or in other words we can say that dispersion phase it can be either gas liquid or solid phase and the dispersion medium can also be either gas liquid or solid so now depending upon which particular uh, nature or which particular phase of the dispersion phase or the dispersion medium we can classify the collides into different types or into different systems like soul, gels and emulsions. As in this uh, lecture we are particularly focusing on gel. So what are basically gels? Gels are colloidal system in which dispersion phase is liquid and uh, sorry dispersion phase is liquid and dispersion medium is solid. So now we can uh, define the gels. What are the gels? In its mean their keywords are uh, collides are uh, sorry uh, keywords are that gels are colloidal system. Number one, number two, their dispersion phase is liquid and the dispersion medium is solid. Similarly, we can say that the dispersion phase is liquid and the dispersion medium is solid. Now, if we discuss the examples of the gels, gelatin, jellies, agar agar are these some examples of the gel. Now, if we discuss about the viscosity of the gel, they have high viscosity. What's the reason behind their high viscosity? As we already understand that their dispersion medium is solid. So due to solid medium, it means massive medium, they have high viscosity or they are viscous in nature. Now uh, try to understand the structure of the gels. Uh, hopefully you people will understand the basics of the gel that is they are the colloidal system in which the dispersion phase is the liquid while the dispersion medium is solid. Now if we discuss about the structure of the gel, so they have honeycomb like structure. As mentioned here, they have honeycomb like structure in which these empty spaces represent the entrapped disper uh, dispersion phase that is basically liquid phase and these locked chain represent the dispersion medium that is basically solid in nature. Now, depending upon the structure of the, if we understand, if we have basic understanding of the structure, we can easily classify the gels. The basic classification of gel is aerogel, zero gel, and cryogel. 
Now, what are the arrow gel? This term in this term, uh, indicates the meaning of its own. Like meaning of arrow is air. So simply we can say that arrow gels are the gels in which liquid dispersion phase of gel is replaced by air. Simply we can say that if this liquid dispersion phase that is interrupted by a log chain of dispersion medium, if this liquid phase is replaced by air, so these gels are termed as arrow gels, like agar arrow gels, alginate, etc. Now what are the zero gels? Zero mean dehydrated. So simply we can say that these are the gels in which liquid dispersion phase is evaporated or dehydrated. Simply we can say that now if we evaporate this uh, liquid phase, this dispersion phase, so we obtain a particular type of gels that are zero gels. Now move toward the uh, last uh, type of the gel that is cryo gel. Now what is the meaning of cryo? Cryo basically represent the cold phase or the freezed phase. So similarly we can say that if liquid phase of the gel is freezed or cold, so these particular type will simply called as cryo gel. Hopefully you people will got the basic idea of gel. Thank you.